This is Hannah Smith, and you're listening to DentonRadio.com. Okay, now try it with both of you. Okay. This is Hannah Smith. And Greg Thumper Beach. And you're, you're listening, listening to, to Doggy, Doggy Time, Time on DentonRadio.com. All right, that sucked. Do yeah. it again. <laughs> <laughs> do you want was, us to do the rest of it together like that? That was yeah. awesome yeah. sucking, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, do it I'm again. I'm just going to say Thumper Beach. <laughs> Thumper Beach. Give it. Give us some emphasis on it. Right. There you go. This is Hannah Smith and Thumper Beach, and you're listening to Doggy, Doggy Time, Time on DentonRadio.com. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and you ruined it. Oh, yeah, you, you shot that straight down the tube. <laughs> the proper response is, <laughs> I, I can, can dig, dig it. it. Gotcha. Okay. I bet you could. All right, try that again. That's why I love blue shoes. <laughs> try that. Who shoes? No, no, blue shoes. Oh, my blue shoes. <laughs> can you dig it? Can you I dig it? it? I knew that you could. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you caught that or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's try this last one. Uno Mas Timantio. This is Hannah Smith. And Greg Thumper Beach. And, and you're, you're listening, listening to Doggy, Doggy Time, Time on DentonRadio.com. Can you dig it? I, I can, can dig, dig it. it. I knew that you could. Face without a trace of makeup proves it. A girl's most important cosmetic is her shampoo. There's one for normal hair, one for dry hair, one for greasy hair. Now new egg shampoo to nourish your hair. Know your hair. It's part of the art of being beautiful. Usually one must go to a bowling alley to meet a woman of your stature. Don't call me babe. It's doggy time. I used to have a Dalmatian named Alex. Did you really? I did used to have a Dalmatian named Alex. Unfortunately, our Dalmatian was not so sweet. And really? And he bit the neighbor kid on the knee. Oh. And he had to go live at a farm. See, that's what you do. <laughs> you, it's too bad you can't do that with your kids. You know, when they bite the neighbors, you can send them off to a farm. I tried to do that forever, and it just you know, couldn't get anybody to Didn't take work, them. huh? No, nobody wanted it. Pause up, my cats and kittens. You are listening to Doggy Time on DentonRadio.com. I am your host and humble narrator, Bone Doggy, here to remind you that all great alterations in human affairs have been brought about by compromise, although there is something to be said for incompetence. Well said. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, we are sitting here in the studio with uh, Bam Bam, and uh, we're going to do our 25th episode of doggy time can you dig that i can dig that i i can dig that too that's that's a 25th show and uh we were going to do something special but nah. that's not going to happen although tonight was uh meatloaf monday so, yeah that was that we celebrated our meatloaf. that's right mom mom made meatloaf on meatloaf monday oh my God, that's and it was meatloaf. a merry event so uh, uh merry meatloaf monday to you out there my cats and kittens uh, this is the 25th episode of Doggy Time. We'll do this real time. I just got a text from Polly Maynard, and it says, Have you seen the drowsy chaperone? Yeah, so so tell her, yeah, tell him to get off my lawn. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to say, yeah, tell him to get off my lawn. Okay, see what she says here in a little bit. She just sent back no. No, I'm, I'm still sending the other one. I, I, mm. I, I don't have a QWERTY. So unlike the rest of you young hipsters, I I have to text one thumb at a time. All right, you should get yourself a BlackBerry there, son. Oh, I ain't gonna spend that much money on what is it? A, a, a BlackBerry? No, that's that's as dumb a phone as you can get without being a smartphone. <laughs> that's smartphone one step down, is I'm it? I'm saying I want to come out with a dumb phone app for your smartphone where it just like magically turns your phone back into a regular phone. <laughs> Complete with bring, bring. <laughs> See, I, you could do it. It's going to weigh 30 pounds. You're going to have to mount it to your wall. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbest phone ever. Oh, man, they used to make telephones out of carbonite. And, and these things, would they, would they would weigh like a dump truck. It was huge. And they'd have the great big thick cords that go all over the place. And 
and and they screamed at you when they when it rang at you. The ring. What kind of abs would you get on something like that? You got abs for picking it up, <laughs> for, for picking it up, and and you know actually talking on it because the bloody thing weighed thirty pounds, you know. So <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Believe it or not, secretaries back then were cut. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. No insanity workout. You just had to answer the phone. <laughs> really. Well, then they made the dictaphone, and you had a button, and you pushed the button, and you could, you know, like, you know. Those are the ones, that was, they had the tiny tapes. Yep, those little, little bitty tapes. Little bitty tapes. Little bitty tapes in there, and, and you'd say, you know, Miss Crenshaw, would you bring in some coffee? And she'd say, yes, sir, well, I'll be right in. And and then bring it right in, you know, and, and hmm. that was that was the old days. That was old I school. Wondered, right like there. every secretary out there seemed like they needed nasal spray or something. Oh yeah, like yeah. It was, I think it was a prerequisite. Your throat to harm us all. Great, greatness, greatness. But yeah, they, you know, they did that. Now, before the dictaphone, basically you just, Margaret, would you bring us some coffee? You know that oh, type you of thing. Talk to people. You actually talk to people back in those See, days. See, what you guys don't know about history is the original Facebook was actually called uh, conversation. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> LOL. LOL. Yeah. And if someone poked you, it was considered incredibly rude. And you didn't say WTF, you just <laughs> you, you punched them back. You know? <laughs> and then you had the F WTF conversation, you know. Uh, but, yeah, those, those were the great old days. Remember Army Men? Ar Little Green Army Men. Little men. Green Army Men. Classic. Yeah. I actually um, uh, was over at my buddy Stanton's the other day. Right. And they got their sons some Little Green Army Men. Little Green Army Men. You know what? I'm... Almost thirty years old, they're still fun to play with. Oh yeah, absolutely. Little green, I, they just one pose. Yep. You know, and they don't have a lot. Of, it's just it's a classic. <laughs> it's the simplicity that is its elegance. I was I was very anal about my little green army men is is because I would make sure that their guns were all straight. So I would spend hours, you know, like twisting, tweaking the, the, twi the, tweaking the little yeah. gun, and you know, make sure it was straight. Cause See, it, I was too busy blowing them up. Oh yeah, we did that too. Yeah. <laughs> I had this. I've, I've, this is weird. I've had this conversation about three times. In the past week, and and I was tell I was telling a, a young lady that I met out of nowhere. I think it was uh, uh, Brian Cox's girlfriend, Brian Cox from uh, Contingency Clause, and uh, we were talking about army men, and I was telling her, I mean, you could get a bag this big of a hundred army men. So we all had like forty two thousand of these right. things, right? And and they all got killed off by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. See, this is the weird thing about uh, the uh, Stan's kids army men is you know they were posted up. Right at the bottom of the coffee table, which I assumed was South Korea, and they wouldn't cross over until the little green congressman that came in the package right. cleared them for attack. Oh, there you and go. And so, yeah, and there was a lot of little green paperwork. A oh, little green paperwork. Yes, yeah, yes, it was. Yes, it yes, was yes. kind of messed up, but absolutely fun nonetheless. Right, right. And then you had little green CNN. Where they showed the thing, you know, and, and and you know they had the the camera on top of the little yeah, green hotel. Yeah, there was a little green Lisa Ling there right there, right in the there middle of all of it. And you're sitting there watching the the little green shock and awe. Yes, yes. Yeah, you know, the shock and awe in little green. And the the atomic bombs that everybody had rolled up socks. There you go. Way cheaper. Oh yeah, basketball is a good one for yes. a nuclear weapon. Yes, very yeah. much so. Wipes out a whole bunch of them all at the same time. I'm saying so. little green army men. <laughs> train your kids, people. Somebody's beating on the studio door. Who is it? This better be good. It's Laughlin. It's Jake uh, Laughlin. It's the guy that owns the radio station, so we have to let him in. Come okay, in. You have to let me in. Oh, are you yeah. filming? Yeah, we're filming. We're filming. Yes, we're filming. We're, filming. Filming our radio show. we're, we're on <laughs> you, we're on YouTube right now. So. Oh, okay, cool. So. <laughs> Okay, we were killing army men before you walked in the door. Oh, great. By the hundreds and thousands, you know, with either giant dinosaurs, you know, plastic dinosaurs, or if you were going nuclear, you used basketball. Okay. You know, you yeah. just wipe. <laughs> so that's that's where the height of the intellectual. That, that's what we call athletic warfare. Yeah, there you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> was, you know, it's the intellectual property of this particular discussion. That's where it's all headed right now. Well, hitting people with basketballs just sounds like high school. Yeah, right. right. A little bit. The best part of high school. Oh, um, the, oh, yeah, <laughs> the basketball. Yeah. Well, you had to be if you weren't playing dodgeball. That even made it better. Oh yeah. Because yeah. it was a total the surprise yeah, factor. Yeah, yeah. And it was like through the roof. Two words you know? would get you out of it. My bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we didn't we didn't uh, say my bad in the uh, day. We just ran. 
Yeah, yeah that was it. You, 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 you do the so deed, turn bad. tail. Yeah. It was before the discovery back of in, my bad. That's right. Back in the days, the days of the dictaphone. The words "my bad" it's like a mulligan for life. <laughs> <laughs> we never had like throwing basket. We had to hit the deck, and somebody yeah. would hit turn off deck. all the lights in the locker room and start throwing steel toe boots. Yep. Really? And so you would just jump down as hard as, as fast as you can, or grab something really heavy and just chuck it as hard as you could. Yeah, that's, really? That was your only Fun defense, bunch. Really. Where, where did you do this at? That that was at Ponder High School. Ponder. Oh. Also up in Ponder, where there's not much well, to do there up there. There's not a dang yeah, thing I mean, to do in Ponder, so we just start throwing boots at each other. Well, apparently they have boots in Ponder. Yeah, then. Oh, okay. we got plenty of boots. We pop them to Justin and grab them and then throw them at each other. Doggy time does not condone the throwing of boots. <laughs> <laughs> Not while the lights are on anyway. <laughs> or in the shower. Come yeah, on. I mean, level the playing field. Yeah, there. That's right. show under the supervision of trained professionals. <laughs> <laughs> really? So my cats professional and kids, boot throwers if, if you are not a professional boot thrower, do not do this at home. <laughs> uh, you know, be supervised. That Now, we have, uh, speaking of, a new advertiser here. Um, let's oh, see. Uh, Ben's Boot Throwing Emporium. Uh, oh, yeah. Instruction and equipment at your fingertips. If you want to hurl it, call Ben. I so, love it. and that's that's in Ponder, as a matter of fact. It's over there on 13th Street. I know Ben. Yeah, you know Ben. Yeah, you know, you probably went to yeah. school with him. If didn't you he? get a couple of boots, he'll throw oh, in a somebody else walked shot. in. What, what do you want? Little known fact. Uh, oh cigarette lighter. <laughs> they just this place is like a train station right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, little, little known fact, Ponder is, in fact, the boot throwing capital of the world. They are professional boot throwers oh, up there. Oh, international boot Inter throwers yeah. in Ponder. Yeah. I can't imagine a whole lot of foreigners yeah. going to Ponder. Are you kidding? Do you think China's killing us at the Olympics? You should see them throw a boot. Oh, okay. I'm saying. <laughs> but Ponder had to represent, right? You know, oh, yeah. Ponder okay. represents the unofficial part of the, of the Olympics. Of the, the, part that Emerson didn't The boots one. I wonder if it involves throwing something heavy at another person. That that's ponder. Yeah. <laughs> so so you do the the Nancy Sinatra uh, song. Uh, These boots were made for walking. That's kind of like their that theme, is the, song. The national theme song. There you yes. go. Yeah, yes. and and they just they just go up there and and start chucking boots. Yeah, it's actually a cover of that song by Motorhead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that totally legitimizes the throwing of the boots. I'm just saying. Yeah. You have, to, you have to get energized before you just you can't just throw a boot. You have to be the boot. <laughs> Be the boot. <laughs> we have taken Feel the boot. Feel the boot. <laughs> and and of course, uh, it also says here at Ben's Boot Emporium that uh, um, they have training sessions, which is called boot camp. That you can go to, and and uh, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> you could also learn to play trombone. Apparently, oh, and, and so. okay. I would like to congratulate Bone Doggy for officially killing that. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the uh, icing, the proverbial icing on the boot, Call was it CSI. not? That's right. <laughs> All right. So, what's on the agenda? Um, I'm not sure we have an agenda at this particular point, hmm. but hang on a minute. Let's let's just do this. And now, friends, another edition of Bam Bam Cares. I believe that there should be a vegan restaurant in town called Hungry Hungry Hippies. That's marketing. Bam Bam Cares. Tune in next week, friends, for another edition of Bam Bam Cares. Doggy time. Doggy time. Doggy time. Doggy time. Doggy time. It's doggy time. Pause up, my cats and kittens. This is your host and humble narrator, Bone Doggy, here to remind you that every Tuesday night at 8 p.m., Doggy Time sets fire to the airwaves on DentonRadio.com by bringing you news and information, innuendo, murder, mayhem, and the best of Denton music, not to mention the humor, love, and insight straight from the lights of Backwater Opera, Soul Tax, 
Ashley Gatta, and of course, the occasional Hickory Street Hellraiser, just to name a few. Now we know that as we suffer the day-to-day -day slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, my cats and kittens, you can't always bank on being in front of one of these digital contraptions every Tuesday night. Well, old Bone Doggy is here to caress your ear bones with a bit of joyous news. You can hear Doggy Time anytime simply by going to DentonRadio.com and clicking the button on our player that is sporting the visage of yours truly. Or if you want the direct route, visit our blog at DentonRadioBlog.com and click the Doggy Time button there. And as an extra bonus, my cats and kittens, you will also have the past episodes of Doggy Time at your fingertips. Ah, paradise is but a mouse click away. So feel free, my cats and kittens, to sit back, relax, and at your leisure, listen to Doggy Time anytime on DentonRadio.com. Can you dig it? I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. We can dig it. I knew that you could. And welcome to The Last Word in Literature. I am your host, Conrad Nettlesworth. And tonight we have a very special guest. For nearly 200 years, he has been thrilling not only the literary world, but cinematic audiences worldwide. He is a gentleman both famous and infamous. He is, of course, Mary Shelley's timeless protagonist, Frankenstein's Monster. <sighs> Are you all right, Mr. Monster? Uh, oh, I should have left that third burrito alone, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> yes, well, quite. <laughs> now, you are indeed the famous creation of Dr. Victor Frankenstein, uh, are you not? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Frankenstein's monster, as they say, or the wretch, as Ma Shelley used to call us, but... Uh, to be quite frank, I I enjoy the name the old man gave me, so uh, you can call me Bernard. Bernard. B Bernard. Yep. R right. Well, uh, Mr. Bernard. Bernard. Mo monster. Yep. Mr. Bernard Monster. Uh, let's start at the beginning, if we may. Okay. That sounds can good, you man. describe your relationship with Dr. Frankenstein? Well, you know, the, the story is just a couple weeks shy of being 200 years old, and, and it is about time that I think somebody come and actually set the record straight. Uh, as far as the doctor goes, you know, I, I just love the old guy. I really did. You know, he's a little wacky, a little wacky, that whole digging up bodies in the graveyard thing and, in, you know, indeed. all of that. But you can't say he wasn't dedicated, you know. No, I and, suppose you can't. So uh, uh, I, I did. I really, really love the guy. I remember the first time we saw each other. Scared the hell out of both of us. Because, face it, I'm no Catherine Zeta-Jones. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, you are yeah, no, but The old man wasn't exactly a Rembrandt when it come to putting stuff together. Uh, you know, more of a Picasso, really, if you want to walk down that road. But uh, still, you work with what you got. That's what I say. You know, so. So I suppose you do. Well, at least you seem to have uh, held up rather well now, yeah. Mr. Monster. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm doing, doing okay with him. Well, all right. Well, Mr. Monster. Uh, Bernard. Yes, yeah, sorry, Mr. Mr. Bernard, Bernard. Bernard. Over the past two centuries, you have had a rather colorful life. Mm, yeah, the yeah, movie yeah. certainly portrayed. Oh, now, now, we're going to stop, 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 we're going to stop. Oh, okay. I well, do not like that movie. I, that it's movie, a classic, it Mr. got Bernard. almost everything wrong. Almost everything wrong. Uh, I, it is a total misrepresentation of everything. Uh, I, you know, there were some things that I'm not proud of. Uh, well, you yes, know, I would a imagine. couple of things I'm not well. A couple, I mean, you know, like Fritz or Igor. Ah, yes, you know, Dwight Fry. Good, uh, oh, yeah. Well, it, it, in real life, Igor. Uh, they called him Fritz in the movie, and that was mostly because of the lawsuit. Yes, yes. But uh, ironically, that's one thing that they got right in the movie. I did hang a little snot up in the rafters. Uh, you know, after a while, somebody comes after you with a whip and a torch all the time. You, he's going to push the wrong button. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. And yeah, so, so uh, yeah, I do regret that. And uh, there are a couple things. Uh, there's one other thing I do dearly regret. Well, Prater. Uh, the little girl 
in the lake. Ah, yes. yes. The little girl Very in the classic, lake. Very classic, heart-wrenching it was, scene. It was, it, was, uh, it was a terrible tragedy. Yes. Terrible, you know, we both thought she could float. Who knew, you know? So uh, my bad on that one. My bad on that one. Really? Uh, and, uh, and I got to say that I never kidnapped Elizabeth. Ah. Never kidnapped. Never, never. Wingman don't fly that way. You know, it, yes. she belonged well, to the doctor. And uh, set the record the whole, straight. Yeah, I, I never kidnapped Elizabeth. No, no. Although she did have a great. Well, uh, about the episode in which you threw the doctor off the windmill then. Uh, never happened. Never happened. Uh, uh. We, we were up in the windmill and there's a bar of soap. I don't know where it come from. There's a bar of soap up there. Me and the doctor were hanging around there. And, and uh, we were up in the windmill there. And we got chased up there by some local radicals. Ah, uh, yes. Occupy Transylvania. That's the ones. That's the ones. And they're all kind of fired up, you know. And, and they chased us up there. And uh, the old man slipped on the soap and shot right out there in the uh, wild blue yonder, as they say mm -hmm. in, in uh, naval terms. And, and you know, I'm, I'm su I suppose that the villagers down there it looked like I threw the doctor off. And, of course... Being who they were, you know, and, and they just happened to have a bunch of torches and burn the thing down with me in it. I've had better afternoons, I can tell you that right now. So, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. It's not really that funny, dude. Uh, I'll draw. Well, uh -huh. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Bernard. 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 Uh, I think it's probably safe to assume that your harder working days of celebrity are somewhat past you. How does a monster on the go spend his time? Well, well, you know, Mr. Uh, 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 Nettle, Nettlesworth, yeah, Nettlesworth, Nettlesworth. Yes, yeah, you know, you know, Mr. Nettlesworth, uh, uh, Conrad, please. the Conrad, yes. Mr. Conrad. Uh, oh, sounds like Bernard. No, not not really. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, uh, Mr. Conrad Nettlesworth, uh, monster on the go, and I am a monster on the go. Uh, I spend Fine. a lot of time in a great little place in Texas called Denton. Denton. Denton, Texas. Yeah, they got lots of live music. They got the rock and roll, and they got the jazz, and they got the hippity hop, you know, and, and, I and all of that. I happen to be a very astute observer of all things hip hop. Um, are you really? Yes, yeah, it, I bring the shizzle till I trizzle the shizzle on the hizzle, I'm my saying, man. Uh, word. So anyway, that's that's what I do, Mr. Uh, 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 Conrad Nettlesworth. Conrad Nettlesworth. The seventh. The, really? The seventh. Gracious, how the seventh. My middle name is Alice. What did you do with the rest of them? Uh, well, most of them were related to me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a good seven or eight people myself, you know. Maybe we could get together and go out to Denton and have a good time and then just, you know, kind of knock back some beers and pick up a boatload of chicks. Yeah, you can have your people call my people, and okay. we'll see what we can do. I don't have people anymore. I am my people, if you really get my gist. I mean... I don't. Yeah, okay, so anyway, yeah, yep. Go down to Denton, listen to some live music. So. Well, uh, I must say, Mr. Uh, Bernard. 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 Bernard Monster. Yeah. Uh, this has been one of the more fascinating interviews we've had for quite some time. Yeah, and I bet you a dollar a dime and a donut it has been. So, well, you know, uh, like I said, uh, I, I thought it was about time that somebody come and set the record straight, you know, and, and uh, kind of just let you know that Frankenstein's monster is actually, Bernard is, is actually just, kind of a nice guy you know I'm, I'm i'm just really a nice guy and and uh kind of a little bit of a party animal you know oh but, yeah uh, yes, yes but i always behave myself so you know i try well, to be most of the time let's, try, let's be fair. <laughs> mostly you did throw him off the windmill there there was a bar of soap yes. there was a bar that we've talked about that but uh nope nice guy nice guy don't you know make a lot of waves uh now dracula that guy was a real well be sure to tune in next week friends when uh We'll be comparing fashion tips with our guest, Victor Hugo's Hunchback of oh, Notre Dame. I know that guy. And uh, William Shakespeare's famed psychopath, King Richard III. Oh, this I is like Conrad Nettlesworth speaking. Thank you and good night. Okay, there we go. Now that's going. Everybody's level's good. I think so. Check no your sleeping. levels. No check sleeping. your levels. Get a little bit over it's there. Yeah, you can check, do it a bit. Check, 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 Say something. Check, check the mic. Check. You can probably crank us up a little bit. We're sharing the same one. That's Jake, true. Jake's coming out real wimpy over there. I'm, oh. That's just how I was born. Well. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Cowboy up. <laughs> Cowboy. <laughs> Microphone up there, dude. There I have dude. a hard time believing that anybody hit with boots his entire childhood <laughs> to grow up wimpy. <laughs> I would like to thank myself for bringing that bit back. <laughs> full circle. Full circle. Oh, I don't know. That's, I'm bringing that bit back's kind of a shoe in anyway, so. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I feel like such a heel. All right, I'm just gonna say, if we're going to do an hour and a half of shoe puns, I'm out. <laughs> I got stuff to do. You know that Gavin McCloud uh, show, The uh, Love Boot? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Now you're just reaching. We are, we, it is. I am reaching. I am reaching. But, you know, the that's what right, up that's north. Like <laughs> up, up north, you know, they do this thing all the time. That's what radio is all about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit the table. Look what your squiggly things are doing. Your squiggly things are off the chart. <laughs> my <you? laughs> my squiggly things probably shouldn't even be playing at this moment. So, uh, oh, okay. Well, hey, Bam Bam, who's playing at Haley's? <laughs> <laughs> and that is what we call a segue, folks. There are boots in the title of any of these bands. Right. Uh, oh, God. Where's, uh, Haley's is over there at 122 Mole Booty Street in Denton. <laughs> That's Mole Berry for those of you that aren't kind of slow. Okay. Uh, no, uh, it's the place right across the street from Hannah's. Do not park there. They will Do not. You. They will tow your car but, away. Um, and in Britain, they tow it from the back, which means they hook it to the boot. God, really? <laughs> Going intercontinental. <laughs> Just walking down that I'm not going to read Canadian these. If, if you talk about footwear. Oh, kind. please. Read it. Read it. Save us from this horrible, bloody All death. All right, Haley's at 122 Mulberry there Street, Denton, Texas, across from Hannah's. Do not park at Hannah's. That's right. Uh, Friday, August 17th, the uh, Jungle Boys, the Please and Please Me. The Please Please Me. Oh, the Please Please Me. Right on. Right. That's, wow, what a grateful band. Right. Uh, <laughs> um, at 10 p.m., uh, it's an all-ages show. It costs three bucks. Uh, it should be a good time. Haley's picks her talent very, very well. I wonder if, um, if Please Please Me is actually like a Beatles cover or something like it, because they did that. They uh, do a song, uh, Please Please Be. Yeah, you know what? We should me. probably go check it out, huh? What yeah, do you think? We might, might do that, you know? Three bucks. All right. Um, Saturday, August 18th. Wear my uh, new boots. At Haley's. Stop. <laughs> So I'm not reading it if you're going to keep talking about boots. Can you please play Blue Shoes? <laughs> As a matter of fact, that's already been discussed oh, in the first God. of the show. Uh, Greg Beach brought it up. Oh, man. So it's his fault. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> the, uh, the Brothers High Horse are playing up there. Pat the Human are playing up there. The yep. Sparrows are playing up there. Uh, I Am Man, I Am Monster, which is formerly... Travis Barton's old bunch. Uh, Kill for the Kingdom. Kill for the Kingdom, that's right. If you're a Kill for the right. Kingdom fan, I Am Man, I Am Monster is, is Kill for the Kingdom. It's they great. They change names. It's great. And Dead Tooth. And they're, they're playing nine. Uh, it's also an all-ages show. The cost is a little higher. It's ten bucks. But if you have not seen... Uh, I am man. I am yeah. monster live. It's like a great that, band. that's a good show. It's a great band. It's gonna be a loud show. Very loud show. Yes, it uh, is. So. This is not for your grandmama. That's right. So get your your <laughs> earplugs and and wear your boots. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Jake. What's happening at Rubber Gloves? All right, uh, Rubber Gloves. That's on 411 East Sycamore yeah, Street papers and I in Denton. The darn thing. All right, so Rubber Gloves, 411 East Hickory Street, Denton, Texas, Friday, 817. Danny Rush and the Designated, Designated Drivers. drivers. Oh, <laughs> Sounds right. like a fun what bunch. A great name for a, the I'm the one guy drivers. that's drunk and the rest of the band is sober. That there is you go. Awesome. Oh, I Danny love Rush that. And the Designated Drivers. That go. might mean that they're really boring, though. Yeah, it could be. I doubt that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really uh, gentlemen. Rogues. Why do you always give me the words that I can't Rogues. It's, it's Rogues. Gentlemen Rogues. Boots. Gentlemen, rogues, rogues, so ice rogues. eater, <laughs> Del Delfrindo, Delfrindo, Delfrindo. What's their name? I would, I would go to that night just to check out all these guys that come up with these names. That's pretty awesome. Right, yeah. We've talked about it in the past. Yeah. The name can make or break a band. Yes, it can. Got a wild name. People don't forget it. No, they don't. No, now, they don't. I will say this to a lot of the indie bands out there: from personal, don't name your name. It should not be a paragraph. 
<laughs> like, you know, there's some of those bands out there that are like, we are the magic carpet raiders riding the misty mountains of sand. <laughs> exactly. And, and nobody's going to remember that. And you know how much that t-shirt's going to cost? <laughs> oh, that. no, kid. Oh, oh, no, you don't want to do that. You know, <laughs> plus, never name your band after some sort of bodily function. No. I don't You'd be surprised how often it happens. That, it, 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 really does does. Happen. it does happen. It does happen, you know. Yeah. And never yeah. name a band after an old girlfriend. So, uh, mm-hmm. who else is playing at Rebel Rouse? Uh, well, let's see. That's 10 p.m. Classified. This $7 age limit, 17 plus. Uh, the next day is Great Depression's Eco, Eco, to, to, Eco Tone. Echo Tone. Echo Tone. Echo Tone. Gotcha. I thought it was an environmental group. Uh, Pine Box Serenade at 10 p.m. Classified to $7. Um, age limit, 17 and up. Awesome. I find Pine Box Serenade <laughs> to be oddly ironic. Um, yeah, I, I suppose so. He had a band called the Pine, Pine Box Trio. Trio. And we were a psychobilly band. Yeah. Uh, in their defense, we never went anywhere. Okay. <laughs> so they did not steal Pine Box Serenade, no, they, at, they least at least from you. I don't know. It okay. depends on who's in that band. If I've met them, maybe. I doubt it, though. <laughs> well, at uh, Dan Silverleaf, over 103 Industrial Street uh, in Denton. Okay, by a Fuzzy Taco. By the boot yeah. store. Uh, Friday the seventeenth. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm not. I'm sorry, bands. I do not mean to be messing up your spots, but if we're gonna talk about boots all night long. Like I'm gonna have to step out of the room every now and then. You ain't got no soul. Oh, what? <laughs> you did not. What? You just uh, went there. I, I did go I there. I think you pushed the I was, boundaries. I was even gonna go there. You just push it even farther. Right, I call it. Right. I call it bit dead. <laughs> Done. <laughs> No more boots. Ah, uh, buckle up. Here we go. <laughs> it's 10 p.m. is that show. It's Friday the 17th at Dan Silverleaf is the Blackguards. Oh, have you uh, actually ever, have you ever seen the Blackguards? No, I've seen they're, I've never seen they're them. They're real fun, but like they're real high energy and it's kind of, it's, Very it's cool. good uh, uh, imbibing music, if you know what I mean. Mm, awesome. Tip a bartender well that night. <laughs> All well, All righty. Cost of seven bucks at that one and there is an age limit of 18 plus. Uh, Saturday the 18th at Dan's Silverleaf is the Black Boots, along with Boot Revolt and Bad Boots. I'm sorry, that's Black you Dots. You need to plug those guys right. They did not. I know. I'm gonna. I'm they probably. Your show I'm probably gonna have to meet these guys sooner or later. So. Okay, the Black Dots, which is a great name. Volt Revolt. They they play around town every now and then. We see a lot of them. And then Bad Design. They're gonna be there at 9 p.m. The cost is seven bucks. And again, that age limit is 18 plus so bam bam who's at banter who do we have at banter all right uh on friday august 17th uh they got jazz going on they got jake dexter uh drew phelps who was a jake local legend. jake dester is it dester yeah D- oh, i've been calling him dexter this whole time yeah it's, it's <laughs> like the jake... entire time i've known that guy i thought his <laughs> really this entire time i've been saying it you you need to apologize yes to him. i like, do you, all right because so jake, jake dexter could be a real dexter. jerk you know <laughs> all right uh drew phelps who's uh, like i said a local old drew legend. phelps that's um, right Richard Gilbert and Zoe Pardee. Zoe Pardee is a blast. She, I have not seen it. She she is her. so ethereal and and just she's she's um, kind of new a, agey. R- very new agey. Okay. For for a singer songwriter with an acoustic guitar, she is very new agey. So yeah, she's very cool. So yeah, if you're into jazz, go out to Banter. That's um, Friday that's night. That's two nineteen West Oak Street, across from the lab. Mm-hmm. Um, Where we have choir practice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Before every yeah we do, yeah we do like, so uh, Saturday uh, August eighteenth we have uh, jazz with Pete Weiss from six to seven forty five p.m. Mm-hmm. and then after that they got the open mic showcase right which is your bunch right Chris uh, it's a uh, Chris and Matt are starting off and they have they have got a new name uh, it's a uh, big city tumble is these these guys it's a guitar duo okay and they have literally. Are these the guys that played out with us at Briscoe Tire? No. Okay. These guys have only been playing in public for about a month. Oh, no kidding. They're brilliant. They've right been on. they've been practicing in uh, Matt, uh, one of the guitar players, they've been practicing in his living room for years. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you the, the hardest step, the, the hardest step for any musician to take is to get out right out there room. in public. I know. Yeah, man. Because I've seen I've seen brilliant bands that never went further than the living room. Yeah, well, these are guys these are really young guys? They're they're pretty young, you know. I don't think Matt's as young as as uh, uh, Chris is, but they they played uh, the open mic last night yeah. at the Abbey Underground, and okay. they're they're very good, good guitar duo. 
So, uh, also come yeah. out and check out Chris and Matt support a, a new group out there. Brand new, uh, brand yeah, new. Kelsey Henry, the lovely and talented Kelsey Henry. Mm-hmm. She's, she she's. she's uh, <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that right? Yes. Ah, yes. Christopher Moorhead. Christopher Ghost, Ghost Moorhead. Who actually, if you guys have not seen Ghost, just solo acoustic set, it's great fun. It is awesome. That guy knows. Every song you ever heard. Yep. Huh. And uh, but um, he just started doing this again. I'm ac- I'm actually probably gonna come out to this show. And It'll say be a good one. Uh, you good. take you take a deep chance of hearing at least one Fraggle Rock tune. At least one Fraggle. Really has a couple Sesame Street. A couple tunes, Sesame Street tunes. Uh, some huh. Pretenders. Some dead Kennedys. He's playing Weight yeah. of the Storm. Oh, no kidding. He's playing so Weight of the Storm. Bone He's also, yeah. uh, Ghost covers one of my songs quite frequently. Very, uh, the Hitman. Hitman, yeah. He lo- I wrote this song. Check this out. I, this is um, a couple of years ago. I was living in Florida. And I was really bored. And I watched a Clint Eastwood marathon. Oh, and just gosh. sat there and kind of mindlessly <laughs> strummed on my guitar. Uh-huh. And I started playing this chord progression, and I wrote this whole cowboy song. Yes. Based on the movie Fistful of Dollars. Yes. <laughs> and it's called The Hitman, and Ghost uh, Ghost plays that song. That's so if you want to awesome. come out and hear some original tunes and oh, yeah. a lot of really good covers, yeah. Yep. That's and then uh, hey, coming that's... on right after Ghost is uh, Hartley Hall. Oh, I love song. Hartley Hall. Yeah. She is so good. She plays ukulele. That is her main yes. instrument. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, Hartley is is. You know, getting around. Every time I turn around, I see that girl on stage somewhere. Well, that's and, how you do it. Yep. And, and so she, yeah, Hartley's, she's making the rounds and, and doing a really good job. And, it, and she's a blast. I mean, her voice is great and she's a lot of bubble energy and, and stuff like that. So that's all going on at Banter. And then uh, what's happening at Abbey Underground? Oh, I am excited about this show. This, this is a is good show. Cool. This is a DentonRadio.com yes, show. Yes, it is. That's Abbey right. Underground, 100 West Walnut Street, uh, on Friday, August 17th at 10 p.m. We got Ashley Gatta and the Free People. The Freeps. Yeah. Which the is Freeps. awesome. And I don't think they've ever played Abbey Underground before, nope. have they? Well, no. This is going to be a whole I got to tell the story. Jake knows this, but... Um, um, we we had talked to Ashley. We were doing the right. uh, the seminar thing, uh-huh. and I just got talking to her about doing a gig, right. you know. And and so uh, it was real late. It was about one thirty at night, and and I think we had just got through with rehearsal or something like that. And I was on the way home from uh, <coughs> Charlie's, and uh, uh, so it was probably two thirty. So anyway, I I texted Ashley. I said, "Come out and play with us. Come out." And, actually, I said, "Come out and play with me. Come out and do a gig with me." And about a day later, I get a one-word text back from Gata that said, "Really?" And I, was like, <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." So I texted her back and said, "Yeah." And then we 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 uh, got together a couple weeks ago, and we're doing some uh, Denton Radio stuff. And I started talking to her in depth about it. And I said, "We got to get you guys out here. Come over to the dark side, oh, my dear." Side. And so uh, and so, you know, she hollered at the boys, and they put it all together. And she called me back and said, "Yeah, they're going to do it." Very so cool. and 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 my cats and kittens, if you have not seen Ashley Gatta and the Free People, Ashley Gatta and the Free People. Oh well, no, it, wait, Gatta. It's Gatta. Is it Gatta or Gatta? Gotta get a Gatta. Gotta get a Gatta. That's right. She was like, so, just remember, gotta get a Gatta. Okay, so it's Ashley Gatta and the Free People. Is a, they are a good toe tapper. That's a toe tapper, okay, and there's yeah, some talent. Good. There's some talent it in is, that band. It's very good. And then after uh, her, after her is 1140. And my that's boys where it gets wild. Yeah, the that's of Ashley Gatta and the Free People. Followed by 11:40. It just, the show's cool. just gonna get slowly funkier. Dude, yeah, uh, yeah. funkier as you go along. Get you up, shaking your butt, man. Yeah, they will. Yeah, those, they will. Are, those are old friends. I love those guys, and anytime they're playing, it's gonna be a good time. That's that's a boot scooting band right there. Right, yeah, I'm kidding. So uh, buy old man G a drink if, if you feel me. You know what that's I mean? Right, <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. And then finishing up that show is going to be Bone Doggy and the Hickory Street Hellraiser. That's right. That's <laughs> right. We're going to have Bone Doggy and the Hickory Street Hellraiser. You know what? I know every song that band plays. No, you don't. No, you don't. Don't you guys work up some new stuff? I wrote some new stuff that you have never played well, according before. According to Off the Record, <laughs> I'm still in the band and uh, I'm rocking it. <laughs> yeah, but you look, you look surprisingly like a... a, a a oh, Puerto Rican, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a Puerto Rican, but uh, yeah, that the the article when we did that, we're, the article we're talking about, my cats and kittens, is a, a magazine called On the Record, which is uh, from North Texas, and they ran a uh, music yeah. ep- uh, issue, they which which they hit everybody. Denton the Radio, Denton Radio was Backwater in there, Opera. Backwater, and uh, 
they are they interviewed me about a month and a half ago. So you had not left the band yet. Ah, uh, okay. And so uh, you know, I kept telling them, you got to talk about the Hellraisers. About yeah, yeah, you got to talk about the Hellraisers. Well, we didn't do the photo shoot till what a week and a half ago, two yeah, weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, it must have been because Greg is in. The Greg pages. is in the photo yeah. shoot, you know, and and so that's how that got kind of mixed. Well, a little up shout there, out so. on the cover of that magazine is Chris Av. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Actually, I met him tunes. the first time the other yeah. day. Chris Av. He's got he in in Texas, and I I know this. Denton Radio doesn't cover a whole lot of hip hop yet, right? And uh, but there is that. there is local hip hop out there, but in in Texas the hip hop mecca has always kind of been Houston, right? In which they did this kind of like chopped and screwed syrupy like backpacker sound, and uh, what that means it's just it's it's like one specific style of right, hip hop, right? And what uh, this guy does um, is he takes more of like what Denton does, like some indie. And some funk elements and some R and B elements and stuff like that, and does his music based around that. Oh, very and cool! And so it's kind very of like cool. a fresh Texas sound that you don't get much from around these. Well, places. he's in the playlist, and, yes, and you know is. you we can hear him on Dent Radio. I've, I've heard uh, I've heard a few tunes. Well, now inside, and then, and... inside scoop about about Chris is he's been bringing me hip hop guys for a while, right? Um, with the intention of having his own show, he Ooh. wants to do uh -huh. a, a hip hop version, sort of a doggy time. Ah. that he will do himself. That'll be a good idea. He man. wants to add in. Call, to call it that, hoppy time. To, yes. <laughs> to do that, we had to add in a whole lot more hip hop guys. So right. he's been bringing me hip hop guy after hip hop guy. Very cool. So we uh, uh, short bus. We're, we're, we're working on writing a clean song that is. Oh my god. That was god. the challenge. That was the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we're really good performers, and the show's good, but man, it's, it's filthy. So not for kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's filthy and disgusting and funny. Oh God, it's funny. It's funny. But, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really but it's, funny. But it's it's really it's wrong on so many different levels. Yeah, we like to, but, to uh, raise the bar there a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> but but the, the 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 element that Chris is bringing in the the hip hop element is awesome, and uh, we've needed it. We've needed something like that yeah. for a long time. I, I so I would love to get genre specific on Denton Radio very soon and have a hip hop. That would be great. That would be awesome. awesome. Man, you should look at. There's metal bands out there too mm -hmm. that could show some love, and I'm oh, sure yeah. that some of those guys have. Some we had a couple of guys hidden under. Under wraps that we However, do. we will not be promoting any kind of skinny jeans. No skinny jeans. No skinny jeans. No skinny Have jeans. Have you ever heard of Spectral the Pusher? Yes, actually. Yeah, he I, brought me some tunes just the other day. Yeah. Do you have skinny stuff. jeans on? No. I've heard, I, I think I know the guy. Okay, I so actually, uh, I have a deterrent for skinny jeans. Uh, I read a story the other day, and this is legit. This kid's jeans were so tight that he sat down and injured himself. What? Kind of, kind of permanently. <laughs> permanently. Kind of <laughs> sensitively. Let's just say that he's like a donut hole shy of a bag. Oh. <laughs> and so kids, dude, get some loose pants. Yes, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Let those guys breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they could get lopped off. <laughs> I did, just when I read this story, all I could do was kind of just cross my legs and go. Mm. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> well, they won't, they won't let you to heaven. No, how, so. how did you get here? Well, I got them lopped off by a pair of skinny jeans, and they'll throw you right out, you know. Do the boys a favor. <laughs> <laughs> Give them some breathing room. All right. Speaking of breathing room, there's plenty of breathing room. This is another segue thing. I'm good at that. I'm getting even good at this. Uh, <laughs> Sweetwater Grill and, oh, yeah, and yeah. Tavern. Actually, it should be Sweetwater Tavern and Grill, but... Uh, we know the tavern part, the the grill we're getting yeah. familiar with. Actually, uh, believe it or not, Sweetwater has excellent food. They do. They have yeah. excellent food. It's a good place. Uh, they also have excellent jazz over yes. there. Yes, yeah, uh, We got uh, Jose Aponte. Yes. Have and, you seen uh, him yet? No. Ray took me out to go see him. Uh, this, this Did you like right it? Here. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's kind of cool. like more dancey jazz. Right. It's got oh, very like, cool. Well, it's got kind of like that, that Southwestern flavor to it. Oh, it's the, the Carib cool. Club Latin Jazz Quintet. Yeah. That's Jose's bunch. Uh, they are going to be there uh, at Sweetwater, which is right there at 115 South Elm Street. They're going to be there Sunday, August 19th. And then uh, Tuesday, August 21, the James Riggs Quartet with uh, Neil Slater, uh, Lou Carfa, and uh, Rich DeRosa is going to be there. Very, very so that cool. ought to be kind of interesting. And then the week after that, we know that our buddy Drew Phelps is going to be uh, playing up at Sweetwater. He, he makes a lot of appearances up at Sweet, Sweetwater. So uh, uh, well, that's I like Drew, be a treat. Drew just kind of like wanders. You, you never know when Drew's just going to show up and start playing for you. Yeah, yeah. Like you have no idea. He, dra he drags this huge bass around and with him. And he's one of those and, people, you, know. you don't even stop him. You're like, hey, Drew's here. Yeah. Cool. Let him play. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a break. So anyway, that's, that's all going on as far as music goes. And then uh, 
this month, I, I, we've got August 17th through 19th, I think this is the last of it, mm -hmm. is uh, Campus Theater is yeah. doing hairspray. And they have been doing hairspray all this month. And uh, I've, I've heard a lot of good things. I've heard some good reviews. I've heard good, some like good reviews for this one. Yeah. Campus Theater's always top notch. It really is. Are, yeah. It really is. And speaking of top notch, uh, the fact is, uh, 17th and the 18th, those shows are at 7.30. Adults. $20, nice. seniors, $18, and if you are a student slash child, or both, uh, or, both or if you're a student <laughs> with a child, see, I would ask about that, too. Yeah, that would be a discount. There you go, there you go. <laughs> uh, you're going to need one. You five bucks. That's 10 bucks to uh, get in the door if you're <laughs> a senior student, student slash. student with a child. Then, wow. then you probably have to pay them to get in. You know, <laughs> the theater and, just implodes on itself yeah, like yeah. that house from Poltergeist. Wait a minute, you're an, ad, you're an adult senior with a student as a child? I can't do this. I can't. I don't have a button for it on the cash register. So anyway, uh, the shows, the 17th and the 18th, that's a 7.30 p.m. performance. And then on August 19th, they're going to close the show and strike the set. That final production will be at 2 p.m., the Here's afternoon. the thing that you have to realize about theater. If it's a good show, the best two shows are, are going to be opening night and the last night. And the last night. night. Yeah. Because yes, opening absolutely. night, you're still riding that buzz like yep. this is what we've been working for. And then last night is, I never have to put on this sweaty <laughs> costume That's ever again. right. Yeah. I never have to look at your ugly face or put on these stupid boots again. And in Hairspray, there's a dude playing a lady. Every and I'm time. sure that he is tired of wearing that dress. <laughs> and he has no eyebrows. Yeah, he has <laughs> eyebrows in the whole night. There you go. Well, the beauty is, is this is the only venue that we've ever read that has cheaper rates for younger people. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> usually <laughs> usually, usually if you're a young and you yeah. pay out the nose, uh, maybe that's because there's no whiskey at the campus theater that I know of. Well, they have a they have, they have a full bar. They have liquor, but I know they have concessions. Well, they do. Well, of course, they do beer but and things. probably beer and wine. Yeah, probably beer and wine well, because. Uh, well, you don't want people all liquored up in a play, like you know what I mean. <laughs> it's like, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you something, buddy. You should be. Not, not be, okay? <laughs> right. Listen, and you should suffer the slings and arrows, buddy. <laughs> you know, it just, it really, liquor in theater. Oh, what the hell's a fartle's bear? <laughs> I want to know what that means. Hey, hey, hey do not... look here. Hi. King Lear, right here, buddy. <laughs> like, no, it just doesn't idiot, work. Idiot, idiot. Yeah. Uh, bring bring the cute one back and get rid of the ugly one. That's what I do. Yeah. Is that yeah. guy a donkey? <laughs> really? no, Shakespeare on liquor would not be great. That could be a whole show. Shakespeare on liquor. <laughs> we will do that. The thirtieth episode by Cats and Kittens will be Shakespeare, Shakespeare on, on liquor. liquor. That's where we're it's going. It's kind of like Shakespeare at the park, except you wake up with a headache. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and incarcerated. So. <laughs> So part of the cast will be Denton's finest. <laughs> Come on out here, boy. You make your one. You make one phone call. <laughs> I talked to my dad, the ghost, last night. I don't need to make a phone call. Yeah, you just pick up the receiver. Alas, poor York. <laughs> I need you to post bail. <laughs> a fellow of infinite jest and the credit card. <laughs> All right. To finish this mess. Um, what else is happening? This is very cool. The North Texas State Fair of Denton. Woo! Good uh, times. Yeah, well, that's going to be a... going way back. In fact, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, man. I used to, when I was huge. 16, man, that was where you took your dates. Check out. Oh, God, yeah. this, this segment's gone 24 minutes already. That's awesome. Anyway, uh, the State Fair um, has got, you know, it's it's a real country flavor. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And, uh, but some of our buddies, I'm, I'm going to fire it up here on the internet. We can check it out. There's... There is a huge lineup, my cats and kittens, of, of acts that are going to be up there. When's the dates? Read the dates. Find the dates. Uh, it's a, yeah, there you yeah. go. Okay, so uh, it's up at uh, Kyle Park, which is behind uh, Kroger on right. University. Right. Uh, you really can't miss it. There's a big Well, it's on Carroll, right? Uh, no, not technically. Is is that part still technically Carol there back by the by the smoke shop and all that? I guess that's what the that's what the uh, the website well, says. It just it's look, on Kroger on University. It's the park right behind that. If you're new to town, if you're not new to town, you know exactly where this thing is. This is what I think is cool. The main stage is the Budweiser stage. The smaller stage is the Bud Light stage. 
That is kind of funny. <laughs> that, is kind of funny. That, is, that is pretty awesome. That is but kind uh, of yeah, funny. that's what the, the only thing about the fair is that that's the only night I can't grocery shop at 2 a.m. No kidding. Yeah. No. You want to run into a drunk redneck sucks. throwing stuff at you? <laughs> yeah. You grocery He's shop. Like, hey, at two. man. Hey, give, give me your funnel cake. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. I want to clear this up. You grocery shop at 2 o'clock in the morning? Dude, what are you, what are you, the day. What are you Troy Aikman or something? <laughs> we are. No, we're students. No, it's Mike McDonough that actually said that story that he had to go to uh, Kroger at 2 o'clock in the morning at, with sunglasses on so that people wouldn't recognize I'm him. I'm sorry, no Bone Doggy, but those of us born after the bicentennial, <laughs> so we have schedules. What's that like? I have no idea. But well, anyway, so the State Fair is the 17th through the 25th, and right. who's, who's going to be out there? We've got people like uh, Wade Bowen, Hello. Uh, whoever that is, uh, Casey Donahue Band. These are some bigger name country. Yes, guys. these are yeah. bigger names. Uh, Jason Meadows, Max Stalling, the Turnpike Troubadours. Dude, yeah. really? That's are you a, that's a great band. Have you Turnpike heard that, Troubadours. That their, their big radio hit is, in my opinion, one of the best things on mainstream radio right now. Really? It's, it's a stir- right. hysterical Every song. Every day I'm working on the Illinois River, get a half a day off with pay. Yep. It's just it's a yeah those guys that's a good they're team. from Oklahoma they're a really good band uh, sorry I got excited that's oh, that's right. good that's good uh, Josh oh, Abbott yeah. is gonna be there Josh oh, Abbott that's cool. and uh, Stony Larue but the the uh, headliner is gonna be the good old don't do that you're you're making that's oh, sorry, coming yeah. through on the thing uh, John Anderson. The, oh. the immortal John Anderson is going oh, to be there. I'm glad stuck around. Uh, a couple of friends of mine, apparently he played up at Windstar a couple of days ago. Yeah, cool. yeah. So, so he's in town, he's in so town. he's going he's gonna to hit the... Uh, he probably hangs out here a lot anyway, but this is what I was, I was really uh, excited about. <laughs> well, he's not um, Randy Travis. Good old... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I went oh. there. You did go there. <laughs> Randy Travis. Go there. Travis, I am calling you out so long. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mind your business. <laughs> Walked into the place naked as a gay bird. <laughs> as a chance, for, the day he was born. I mean, the man has made enough money to at least get some terry cloth jogging shorts. Saying, Am I, I right? I don't see his name on this list. That's just, <laughs> uh, that's right. Well, who we do see on the Bud Light stage, Scotty Thurman, and and the Perfect Trouble Band. Those these are local guys. They are everywhere. Sweet. Yeah, they're real yeah. solid, solid, yeah. solid. Country they're guys. actually going to be out at uh, Paula's Fest. And apparently, if you're a country, they're fan, from Gainesville. Yeah, this is like this is going to be your night. Our buddy Brian Burns. Oh, right. Remember, on. We, we've done a couple gigs with uh, Brian yeah. Burns. Beer Man. Oh, fellas. Okay. Brian Hauser is going to be there. Good old Beer Man. Just remember when that man says drink a beer, you should probably drink a beer. I've never, <laughs> I've never seen anybody drink more beer than this guy. It, it, it's, yeah, it's his, it's it's his act. Yeah, no, it, it, it is his whole act. Yeah. First off, he does this, this thing every year where um, he takes all the firefighters and police and, uh-huh. and throws this big beer walk. Awesome. Where he basically walked from one side of town to the other, just hitting every bar on the way. Sweet. They got like a guy plays bagpipes, and it's just this giant million beer wow. march. And then he, he, you know, those big pickle buckets that come in restaurants. Uh-huh. He fills it up with ice and beer, and then <laughs> he slams a beer between every song. Every song. And he plays for like two and a half hours. Wow. And. He really does not seem that affected by it. <laughs> <laughs> he, can, he can pack it away. Well, I'm just saying, if I did that, I'd be drooling on the floor <laughs> at 10 o'clock. There is a limit. I mean, you know, he doesn't even do a cheeseburger in the yeah. middle of all that. But yeah, he yeah. is, He is, however, incredibly entertaining. Yeah, he is. He's really good. He's a great singer-songwriter. Yeah, he and, is. And he knows every song ever written. Including these boots are made for walking. Beer Man, honestly, if, if you're just now trying to get the, the Denton experience, Go check out, go beer, out man. Check that's, that's a Denton staple from there way back there when. You go. So anyway, that is uh, that's what's happening in Denton and over this weekend. It's going to be a very busy weekend, I think, and, and uh, we're we're going to try to stay out of trouble as much as we possibly can. So I think it's about time we heard a tune. Okay. So uh, uh, what 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 would be a good tune? Pick a tune. Um, you say My Blue Shoes, I'm going to choke you. <laughs> That's a great song. <laughs> We're going to play My Blue Shoes. Uh, here, it is, my, here it is, my cats and kittens, Bone Doggy and the Hickory Street Hellraisers. Real quick, before anybody can say anything else from the album The Little Bar in Texas, it's called My Blue Shoes. Can you dig it? Bam, bam, just laugh. You're supposed to say I, I can dig it real fast. I can leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do my blue. No, let's pick another one. Pick another uh, one. I tell you what, we talked about A.V. the Great. Let's play the song that that we started playing of his. Um, 
I don't even remember the title. Lifted. That's what it's called. Lifted. Lifted. Uh, yeah. And this is A.B. the Great. A.B. the Great. Some straight up Denton hip hop. All right then. A.B. the Great and Lifted. On you are listening to Doggy Time on DentonRadio.com. Yeah. Can you dig it? I can you dig it. I knew that you could. What I do, man? It's about nine o'clock in the morning, man. I still ain't been asleep, man. Oh well. I got a light in my right hand, though, so I guess you know what time it is. Yeah, coming live from the struggle, but still so many blessings keep coming. I ain't mad, just appreciate them. I get left it and appreciate them. You should do the same, take a blunt, roll it up, and let's start with ourselves. To ourselves, we gotta act like we the best, but only me, I'm not acting. I'm a factor. They fear when they look at me. I know why, cause I'm the truth, man. I'm the truth, man. A lot of people so scared to f- the truth, man. Uh, so let the truth begin. The government is hell, they don't wanna see us win. Uh, so the hell with them, I hope they all burn in hell again and again. Uh, light up in a blaze and let's get lifted, go flow away, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm just starting, I'm just warming up. You know, not too many metaphors and similes. I don't do all this man, when I'm off the head. You know? uh, let's go. Chicago, this Chicago. Teens, will you let bygones be bygones? How many daring and hours must we see? Don't you see we all gon' be deceased if we keep killing each other every week? This man is f***ed up, and ain't nobody trying to help us. Nah, man, getting lifted, appreciating life, man, I'm so glad to be alive. Uh, my granny just turned 71. It's an amazing feat, so proud of she, and she, so proud of me. Hey, V got his own companies, and it's growing. Just out of town, I'ma be the greatest daddy that they ever seen. Me and baby mama, we gon' keep it clean. Yeah, uh, I'm just feeling myself right now, y'all. Whoa. Drove got me so high, but I'm even more high off of life. The next pills, it's a good feeling, but just to know that I'm alive, it's a better feeling. Baby, and I see you, got I see you, trying to keep me down. But ever you can't do that now, no, because I got God in my life. He got me lifted in the sky, in the heavens. I'm hell bent when I'm living on these. Boys, don't make me have to f*** you up, boy, shit, but Kansas doing good, and a he didn't move out the hood, he playing for Detroit Tigers now, million dollar contracts, he getting paid now, oh, shit, let's go, you gotta smoke to that, <laughs> congratulations, congratulations, dog. Struggle, man. Live from the struggle, man. What can you say? We're in the struggle. I'm, re- I'm reporting live. But even though we're struggling, we got so many blessings, man. And I'm so thankful. And you should be thankful too. Look around you. You ain't dead yet. 
right, my cats and kittens. Uh, that is about enough of this madness. I believe so. Uh, so we put an end to this. There, there are people out there that have got children and need to get up in the morning. Jake looks sleepy. I, I am a little. It's been a lot of boot <laughs> talk, and the Frankenstein bit went on for freaking ever. And <laughs> Well, it is an old story. I mean, you, you gotta know, love a guest. A lot of drugs. Actually, a fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the, the check is definitely not in the mail. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, we're you know you know if anybody was listening to this show, I'm sure we'd be getting letters by now. But hey, uh, we have plenty of people listening. Older, it's the only reason I let you keep doing this crap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bird. I thought <laughs> executive I, producer Bird. <laughs> I'm gonna take my microphones and go home. Oh, wait a minute! Already there. Get the hell out of my office. You're gonna take your microphones and leave. I'm, so, I'm sorry. You you need to get out of this office right now. That's right. So we are gonna put an end to this madness and kick both these jerks out into the street. Thank you. Loosely for coming by and doing this show. Absolutely, okay. thank you for having me. We have me. got uh, Bam Bam, of course, and we've also got Brother Jake Laughlin from uh, DentonRadio.com, which, if you look around the room, that's pretty much where we're at, my cats and kittens. Go. We would like to remind you that uh, we will be here next week, same doggy time, same doggy channel. Tune in to DentonRadio.com and hear doggy time, and if you want to hear doggy time. Anytime, Anytime, go to that blog, which is, how do you say it, Denton Radio? Radioblog.com. Couldn't you come up with a better name for that? Like, What's the Denton Radio like blog? Like Super right? Action Blog of Excellence. It's the Ninja Blog. <laughs> I, that, I think you can call it Bernard myself. I think no, it, it's, 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 the Boot Blog. The, the Boot Blog. See, there you go. Denton Radio Boot. Go to Denton Radio Boot, my cats and kittens. It's spelled blog, but it sounds like boot. And uh, you can listen to any of the Doggy Time shows. And also be sure to check out DentonRadio.com proper. And uh, here's some of the great music that we got going on on this radio station. So, boys, we are going to flit right out of here. Uh, and we need a tune to go out on. Um, uh, can anybody tune? Well, anybody that we've got in the uh, archives. Yeah. Not, and I mean, yeah, I want to hear some scattered. <laughs> uh, do you, do you, Free it, bird. Do you need backwater opera? I got, yeah. I got a give dandy. Me some, give me some backwater I'll opera. I'll tell you what, it's one, it's one of my favorites. Uh, it's called 35 BC. Ah, yeah. It is oh, a yeah. funky little tune. So that's what we're going to do, my cats and kittens. We are going to go out on 35 BC by our good buddies, Backwater Opera. We will see you next time. You are listening to Doggy Time on DentonRadio.com. Can you dig it? We can dig it. Um, probably, I'm sure you can. What? <laughs> <laughs>